Hey guys, welcome to the Innovation Lab YouTube channel. Today we're going to be working on our next microbit project. This one is the Octobot. It is also by Jasmine Florentine. With this project, we're going to be making this octopus here that is able to retract its arms and go back to normal. So yeah, we're gonna get this going. Uh, we'll move on to the supplies and things you'll need. Okay, so here are the supplies you'll need for this project. You'll need the printout. So the thicker the paper, the better. Uh, you'll have one of these and then you'll have two sheets of this, which are the tentacles. So you're gonna wanna get these cut out and folded like it says over here. I won't go into too much detail on how to do it because it's pretty self-explanatory. And then you'll need a continuous servo. So this is basically a servo that keeps spinning. It doesn't stop at 180 degrees. And then you'll need uh, some thread. Doesn't matter what color it is. You'll also need a sewing needle. So get one of those. And then you'll need a drinking straw. Uh, plastic doesn't matter what color it is you'll be needing one of these so yeah and then you'll need the scissors glue the basic stuff you need for any project all right so you're gonna want to go ahead and start cutting out the arms uh, it's gonna take some time so be prepared for that and then we'll move on to the folding and the cutting and all that all right, so this is probably gonna be the most tedious part of this entire project is getting each of these tentacles folded and the holes cut. So basically I'm gonna show you one and then you repeat it eight times. So you're gonna fold it on the half mark. Make sure you get the crease nice. And now you're gonna take a needle and you're going to poke you're going to basically poke a hole through each of these but first we're going to fold along this line so basically you're going to take the front part and it's going to fold upwards and then you want to crease it and then the second line is going to be the opposite way So you're gonna repeat that until you get to the end. Okay, now you're gonna to wanna to get your needle and thread and you're gonna to wanna to start to sew through all the holes. So starting with the first one, you're gonna go up go up through it, you're gonna pull through, and then you're going to take it in through the other one and pull it down, and you're gonna repeat up. then you're gonna pull once you're out you're gonna pull the needle off and put that aside now you have the string going all the way through you're gonna want to take leave about 10 inches off from one end pull a good amount through and then you're gonna take your scissors and just cut off the other end and now best way to secure this is to take some super glue and put a little drop right there and some on this side and so now you're going to want to repeat this exact process seven more times for the other arms all right so now we're going to work on the body so you want to have this and then the, one of the little uh, octagons that we cut out earlier and you're going to fold along the line. All right, so now that you have this, you're going to fold each of these tabs inward so that it uh, becomes flat on top. All right, now that you have it all folded in, you're gonna take this and you're going to glue it on top. It might take some f uh, forming, around the edges, but you're gonna want to make it as perfect as possible. 
All right, for the second piece, you're gonna to wanna to take a piece of cardboard. You can cut it off of a box or whatever you have, and you're gonna trace this octagon out, and then you're gonna cut it out. So you're gonna to wanna to have a octagon-shaped cardboard. So go ahead and get that cut. So there you go, this is what you wanna have. This is the cardboard exact cut of the stencil. Okay, so now we're going to take each of these tentacles and we're going to glue the flap that has no hole on each of these sides. All right, so once you have glued all of your tentacles on, this is what you should have um, there, as you can see, they're overlapping in the middle, and then all of your strings should be free at the bottom. Okay, so now we're going to get all the strings going through the straw. So you want to get a straw and you want to just snip off about maybe an inch, inch and a half. As you have your straw, you're going to want to take the needle that we use to sew and you're going to want to poke a hole, poke it in through one side and take it all the way through. So there you go, all the way through and then on the opposite side and go through but this time we're not going to go all the way through we're just going to take it up through the top <clears throat> all right for each of the strings coming out of the tentacles that we left we're going to take it and we're going to go ahead and feed it through the straw pull it through and we're going to take it to the top one and pull it out and you want to repeat this process for all of the strings and then once you're done you're going to put a, some glue on each of these holes and then we can cut once the glue dries we can cut off the excess so go ahead and get all eight of the strings going through here then we can move on okay so now that the glue had dried i went ahead and cut off the top of the straw so that it doesn't come in my way and what you should have is all the strings connected to the straw and you if you pull it you'll see all like a like a, a big pyramid in the middle that's what you want here now we're going to move on to getting the motor in there so to hold the servo in the robot you're going to want this we cut this out and then folded it and then glued it on the seam so you're going to want to feed the cable through feed that all the way through and then pull the motor in like that and it's gonna sit just like that inside so there are many ways to uh, secure the straw to the servo what I found to work best is just a simple binder clip to sandwich the straw uh, it gives it a nice strong grip and it doesn't slip when spinning so yeah that's the best way just go ahead and do it like this so there you go the project is now done uh, this is what you should have at the end. I will be posting the electronics diagram and the code in the description if you have any questions on how to wire it up or code it. Thanks for watching.